Hey stampers, Keena again, and I'm coming back with, uh, it's like a card with a little bit of a twist, that's also a gift card holder as well, so ideal for um, craft fair ideas maybe, um, using for Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings especially, if you want to put a nice a wad of cash in there, you could use it for cash, and it's using these beautiful new dies that we got, and uh, just knocking my pens off everywhere yeah these so I've wrote on the back of two of them already because oh I did it's worn off oh how silly was that uh, pen 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 I can't stand marker pen right uh, let me just do it on here quicker on a very measure of this so it cuts Five and a quarter. Not the best pen in the world. I stayed on that one. By three and three quarters. Oh, so why has it stayed in there? Because that won't rub off now, because it's a permanent marker pen. Three and three quarters. So I've used the two of them. Now you're intrigued, I bet. <laughs> and I'm also using this one it says known for the holidays absolutely adorable and i best show you hadn't i i just knocked all my marker pens off uh, and i'm going to swap this one up i'm going to change the colors i've used uh, this one's cherry cobbler <laughs> <laughs> and the next one I'm going to do is Mossy Meadows because I've got the matching ribbon to that as well. But it's absolutely adorable and it literally just swings open to reveal your gift card. I made a bit of a boo boo there, so you could literally use a different colour card stock at the back if you wanted to. You could cut because I've actually done this one. I'm not sure it fits, I've got this on the back. And I've stamped it on the back as well. Your, it says there, a little Christmas wish. You're a friend like gnome other. Oh, so that's adorable. So now the big question is, Gina, does it fit in your envelope? Let's find out, because this is a rather large die. It's six and one eighth by five and five, eight, four and five eighths. So it might not fit. Oh, look at that. It will fit in mine just, literally just. So, and mine are C6. Oh, look at that, girls. It fits in a normal size envelope, look, in a C6. So, our envelopes in the UK, from the range, don't get them from stamping up. These are four and, oh, they must be marking up. Uh, yeah, four and three eighths, not four and five eighths. That's why. Because this is four and a half and by. six and a half and they're done by six and one eight so yeah perfectly fits in my envelope so just about as well like i said i buy mine from the range and if you're careful i can reuse this envelope or just keep it with this one but how stinking cute is this i adore it i was thinking of maybe adding um I could, I'm just, this is just a, yeah. so it fits both ways. Now this is my creating craft card which came today. So yeah, it fits perfectly inside there for a gift card. And if you wanted to add money, which I don't sadly have any on me at the moment, <laughs> I don't carry cash. Um, you could get anything up to a 
10, 20 or even a 50 pound note in there, just fold it over and tuck it in. So if you were given this as a wedding present, like I say, I made a bit of a boo-boo and what I used was my, oh, what's it called? La, 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 la. My crocodile. And then after I punched and did the little stud thing right through, I tried to move it, I thought, oh, I've crushed, I'd crushed it too tight. So I'm gonna be using brads. So, have I put my brads away? Yes, I have, like a silly sausage. So let me, and I wanted to just try on different papers. So you could use any color brad. I've got some green ones there. Uh, I've got some aqua. I've got that shade of green. That would look nice against it. You don't have to have them bang on the same color. Or you could try and get some the same color. I've got a different shade of green there as well. I think I'll use the paler one. Because it's just so sweet. And I've kept... So really, where's my book? It's under here. Whoa. These are all the pens I'm using. So this is what you'll need for your known for the holidays gift card and holder I've called it. Um Mossy Meadow cardstock. You will need two pieces at six and a quarter by four and a half, one at two and a quarter by four and a half, and then your whisper white for stamping on the front. I've used three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. You do get a little bit of leftover, but not a lot. And then I just use plain white cardstock on the back because I'm only gonna be writing my to and from message in there. If you wanted, I might cut two for this one, just the plain white card. So when you open this, I'm gonna slide a piece in there as well. And then the recipient can see the difference let me just grab a little oh scrap piece of paper so just for instance say say that so you the, the recipient knows that it's a separate piece of paper instead of that being looking like well where she put that unless you actually know where you're putting it you could even use an, another little die and cut a scalpel out of there or cut a shape and then add a border on there we, there's all sorts of things you can do but how cute is that? And it would stay apart, I suppose, if you wanted to bend the corner a little slight bit where the brad is and have your card stand open at the end as well. Well, why am I over there? Then when I should be there. So let's hold the measurements up again. So if you wanna go and grab, if you've got these dies, that is, fingers crossed you have, and we can make it together. So, keep these. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those in a minute. So, yeah, you can slightly bend them as well at the end and have your card stand up. It's a little bit on the wonk, but it doesn't matter. I haven't pushed them together properly, or I have, and my brad has moved. But how sweet is that? So, I've also got all my stamps there. Hence the reason I'm using Whisper White on the front because it's beautiful for stamping and blending on. That's hence the reason I'm using that. So, we are going to cut two of these out using this. And this is the piece which is the same width, is it? Yeah. This is all from one sheet of, the, of uh, cardstock. And then what you will do, you will just put that on your machine and cut that section out. You could do it all the way to the end, but then I'd have to make, I'd have to cut into a separate piece of cardstock. And there for my white pieces. So let's fetch in this very light, very lovely new. Uh, let's do this piece first. So I want to make sure it's just, is that the right piece? Yeah, definitely. So that's 
run that through. And because we know we're only going halfway, I can just come back with that. And that's what I've learned. It bends your dies. That's because they're no longer made by Sizzix. These are made cheap in Japan or China somewhere. So this is the section we're going to tuck our card behind. And then we're going to need two more. That's to get the minimum, uh, maximum card use. So I'll take it one way. There's another one. You don't get a lot of waste, see? But even though it doesn't matter how many times you push this through, it still bends it. we get the minimum of the waste so that's no I don't mind putting that in the bin so we've got two full ones of those we've got our half piece and that's our large die sort look at that how it bows look that is bowed bad style because I will put that on a flat board for you and show you that's how much it's bowed and without let me just touch that and that look can you see how much it's bowled out? Mad, isn't it? So, you know, I'm going to bend them back to shape. So now I'm going to grab myself. An extra piece of normal white cardstock. I'm going to do my... Uh, whisper white first. Um, where's my plate gone? Here it is. So yeah, I think that's the perfect size. Three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And then what I'm going to do with my two white pieces, I'm just going to put those together and hope it goes, uh, hope it cuts through the two of them. One for the back, one for the inside. And that is my two. Oh, sorry about that. For some reason, my camera stopped, and uh, I just realised after about five minutes, so I've had to stop, start, um, take it back, and I'll join the two together. So, <laughs> so now I've cut my two white card stocks. I'm going to have one for the inside. I'm going to glue that on now. I'm going to wait to glue the one on the back because I want to do some so this is the inside of our card so I'm just basically lining these up giving these a rub my whisper white one piece this is just because it's going to be on the inside and this one's just going to get stamped on and written on on the back so well, this is going on the back of here, but first of all, I've want I've cut a little one inch square. In fact, I'll show you what I did. One inch square. Rounded off the corner. I didn't do 
very, very well. Better. And whichever side we decide, I want to glue this over the top to hide the back of the la, 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 the brad. So have I got my brad? Yeah, here they are. I actually did finish off the video, but um, it's no good to you guys if uh, you didn't see any of it. So this is the inside. This is our, our smaller piece that's going to get attached on there. And we're just going to glue around the outside. Can you hear all that bubbling? It's my husband's friend. It's, he's doing homebrew. They like homebrew. And... His missus has told him no more in the house <laughs> so he's doing it <laughs> at Mr Boyce's house Mr Boyce doesn't drink and I've packed in and it really truly doesn't bother me I love the smell of it uh, my mum used to do it when we were kids homebrew and I always used to think the fact that the smell was so fascinating and she, but my mum would make the wine in the demi jars Ugh, oh my god God, I think that's what put me off of drinking for decades and <laughs> for decades. Um, but yeah, it doesn't bother me at the slightest now. So I'm going to end up with three of these. So that is perfect now for our... So that's the one I carried on. I chose then to grab uh, this stamp because it's got little snowflakes and flourishes on. And this is also going in my mossy meadow and I'm just gonna put that beautiful little flourish across there how sweet is that so we're not gonna throw uh, put the, this away yet until we've stamped our messages on the front I might just switch around let's get our black card out and our whistle white that can go to one side for a moment so now we know where that is we can get our black memento ink And this time I'm gonna mess, mess. I'm gonna mess with anything. I'm gonna just switch them around on the card. And I just spotted a black dot on my finger. Perfect. And there it is. Oh, right. So let's stamp over and put our lovely little tree here this time. So cute. And it covers up that boo boo I just made. Perfect. Along with our lovely little lady, she's going to stand right close here. Perfect. And our little, oh, it's in the house. And there he is, our little gentleman gnome. There are three of the gnomes, but I chose. I'm just going to dip that off a sec because it looked mega wet. So I'm just gonna Ooh. Where's the other one? Mm. I wanna try and get him Maybe I can't I'll have to just have him here. Cute because my sentiment, which is a little Christmas wish, oh, is going just about here. Yeah, don't bother me in the slightest. And then this is going on the back and we are gonna have our 
you're a friend like no other. Cute as a button. So that's all our stamping done. I can put that ready to go for another soak in some bleach. Right, pop that to one side. Let's pop this to one side. In fact, we, um, we could attach now. So let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. Booty, 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 boom. Right, in the middle. Roughly out of the side. Cute as a button. Right, now, what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna put these two together. And I'm going to grab my crocodile and use the smallest color. I thought there was something in that, and I'm just going to. through and then just open up the prongs pop that back away and the piece that we cut off the one inch we put, cut off that can get glued over the top up there To hide that little so that will hide the prongs and then when we glue this on the back it's ever so less noticeable I'm still recording this time and again just to evenly space how adorable is that and you can choose to color that in now if you want to you could leave it I'm gonna color it in so I'm gonna zoom in and let you watch me color this And go in my scraps bin. Oh, and I'm going to put all my colours in. And I'm going to start off with the dark green just on my leaves. One of my baubles. And my grass. So I'm just doing around the edge. Or well, best zoom in. That's better. Still recording. And I'm just going to give her a release. <laughs> now for the small one. 
the small one, the paler one, should I say. And then I'm just going to bob around these little stones. And I've not really bothered to go over the colours because I'm going to do the stones different colour. And then just under their feet. And a lovely little tree hat. She's really in the spirit of the, uh, uh, the moment. How adorable is that? I've just realised. Coming back with the dark, so I'm just going to do under each of the flaps. Just down there. Just to give a bit of shading. And we're using Cherry Cobbler on her lovely little dress here. How adorable and then a little billy berries on there and then another one of these colourful lights and maybe some on a hat too. Alright, dark navy now I'm gonna do one of the lights. I'm gonna do his little outfit. So adorable. Dark grey is for the shoes. And just under his tush, a couple of strands. Perfect. Then the light is for her hair. And it's Toshi, which is very, very long. And we've got the blending in there as well now. Quite subtle, but so oh, oh, so sweet. I got a bit of pumpkin pie, and that's just. And I'm going to do the handle this time in orange and the window frame. Perfect. It just adds a bit of colour. And we're using the light crumb cake. To add colour to the faces and their hands. It's so sweet. Absolutely adorable. I've got the pink pirouette as well, so I went over their noses just to give them the illusion of a red nose without going too red and mango melody then is another shade on the light his bell and the Christmas tree so cute magenta then I've got perfect 
And I'm going to save the Highland Heather for her last little dot on there. This is the the light bomb blue. Oh, I swear the dot. No, that's the light. So I'm just using that for the window effect. And his cute little hat. And I'll just give that a couple of coats so it's darkened it up. How sweet. Oh, now for our light and dark so the dark I'm using on the stones perfect and see the knot in the tree there a couple of lines just choose a couple and then all I got left to do then is blend it in with the light Sorry, bass rear drums with painful music. And I'm going to use a, uh, a gold gel pen just on the edges of the baubles because my silver one's not working. Still in shot, yeah. Front door handle. Why not? Jolly little gnomes. And there we go. There is. Just gonna grab my gold gel pen. And I'm just gonna fill in these lovely little caps that go over the lights and the little gold rope that's keeping the lights wrapped around the tree. That's cute. Cute, 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 cute. So I've got a bit, a tiny little bit of a boo-boo there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, just there. I can see it, so. Now you see it. Now you don't. Perfect. I'm going to do some bit of Wink of Stella and we're just going to do dot each light the glass and our lights on the tree just to give them some sparkle and I'm only dabbing, I'm not rubbing and then I'm going to do his hat Maybe it's bauble. See if we can do a little apron. 
without smudging any red in there. How sweet is that? Oh my goodness. That is so adorable. Look. You see the sparkle? Just. And now I'm going to tie a bow. Try and do a small freehand one. It's just going to go right there to complement. That is so cute. And zoom back out. I'm going to grab some of my little ribbon, uh, my little tape. Love this stuff. disguise that uh, brad or anything it's just to add some festive cheer on there as well and i just think that is adorable perfect there is my mossy meadow version of this beautiful gift card holder and there's the gift card or you could do it that way I'm going to remove these now because I'll forget to take them out and then I'll wonder where they are later. But oh my goodness, there's the mossy meadow. There is the uh, cherry cobbler. And there's this, the one I did not so long back, but it didn't record because, and I put a knot on the back because I forgot to put that on afterwards. Uh, it stopped recording just after I cut all the pieces out believe it or not so <laughs> why I don't know but it says stop recording so I know it's still running so I'd love a thumbs up and a share that would be amazing I hope you enjoyed the project if you've got any questions please don't forget to uh, add some comments down below and I'll try my best to answer them all um, if you're new to my channel as well please don't forget to press subscribe and the bell that way you get notified every single day because I post every day so come and see what I make tomorrow. Ooh, my paper's coming apart. So until next time, thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye.